What's up, everybody? It is your girl Magnolia, and I'm back again with another video. Period. You guys had the great, awesome opportunity to come with me and see see me burp you guys just got to see me thrift hopefully the thrift with me this is the follow-up of that video of all my tips and tricks and all the clothes that i ended up buying that day i hope you guys enjoy let's get into it period i hope you guys enjoyed the part of my tips as far as tips go it's pretty much what people have already stated i mean you can flip through every section look through every section it just depends on you i don't really like spend time in like the little kid section and stuff it just depends how much time i'm working with but of course the overall is flip through every section because you never know people put things back in random places anything that you see that you like just throw it in the cart and assess it later with shoes again make sure like they're good shoes i literally put on some thrift shoes today that were so bomb so fire and as i was wearing them out and all i did was take pictures they got fucked up from the bottom so sometimes like yeah you gotta really be careful with these thrift shoes out here those are basically it to me that was just like a thrift with me i usually am just in the zone like i said i'm much more pickier now and i just you know whatever is for me is for me so i just you know look through especially recently i haven't really been wanting to find shit because i don't want to spend money i can't go into the thrift store and just find one thing like i have to just find a bajillion pieces of shit because i just have a good eye you feel me so i just look at things and i see the potential i ended up spending 88 dollars so i always end up spending close to 100 dollars. but i never feel like too guilty about it just because i buy so much and i know how it feels to go into a forever 21 buy shit and then it's like three shirts a pair of earrings like it adds up so fast let's get straight into the video so we're gonna start with accessories see what bags i ended up leaving with because as you guys could see that's where i found a lot of shit but i really didn't end up leaving with all of that like i said i'm glad i became very like particular and stuff and not even just that but because of the fact that the pr like prices on stuff are raised i wasn't trying to seem like a cheapskate but again i've been in the game for a cool minute so when there's a purse that's eight dollars like anything over five dollars it really hurts my heart because then that's when it starts being like you know you gotta add shit up because shit is gonna add up you know two eight dollar things is now fourteen dollars and that's how you get close to like a hundred fucking dollars as to before when everything was just five and under it was just so easy to like see love it grab it go you feel me the first was as you guys seen the little dog purse i freaking love this like oh my gosh i just love this so much it has the little rhinestones and it's just such a cute graphic and i actually love the colorway on it i think it's just such a y2k little bag and it's just so bomb so I ended up getting this. It's on both sides and it's like new. This one was $9.99, but again, I felt like I was worth it. Next is this bag. I thought this was so cute. This is actually a Bath & Body Works bag, but to me, it looked like a cute little handbag. And of course, the studding that says gorgeous and look how that shines. Ooh. I just thought it would be cute for like a picture, like just really cute. And it was only $2.99, so I thought that was really cute. The next item is a hat. I showed you guys this. This is very me. Once I'm not pregnant anymore, I want to start doing a lot of, like, 70s looks and bringing out my go-go boots because I have, like, some thigh-high go-go boots that are super fire, and it really makes a great look, like, Outfits in the 70s were really like easy iconic looks because anytime I throw like the go-go boots and something that's very bright, colorful and like that vibe, I just instantly feel like swagged out. I got this. It's probably like a costume hat, but it's just the cutest freaking thing and it's just like a look. Like I like to pull looks. So let's not waste no freaking time. Look at this. I look like soul train line, but period. 
it is so cute cutest little hat ever this is like something that i definitely like needed but i would have never thought of it but this was only 249 as well so that's amazing the next is a little purse that my cousin actually found i'm not a hype beast i'm not that thrifter that's like oh where's all the ralph lauren where's all the this and a tommy hilfiger like no if it comes to me and it's actually cool and i fuck with it then i'll invest and cop it but other than that but this is definitely one of those pieces and it's like fairly new i don't know if it's new as far as like when it was made but it's in great condition to me it's like a little mini handbag but i think it came as like a little side bag it just doesn't have that strap but nonetheless very cute sporty mini bag perfect like so cute so cute it's blue it just says polo jeans company has a little polo i like like the material on this it just yeah it's brand new and it be okay period and it was only 2.99 which i'm shocked because all the young people that work there i think they're like letting people know like what is gonna sell for how much and that's why they're hiking the prices up because things that i see that are really fire really do be expensive like god damn I just got stabbed by my next item, which is so shady because I really fuck with this. This is something that I actually bought with taking the chance. It doesn't say she can help me. Y'all seen that. If not my mom or me, I think I could sew a button on. But this is very me. Like, this is so me. Even when I was in there and I put this on, like, I, I just felt like I was in school. I love everything I've ever bought in, but there are certain pieces that are like, oh, yes, like, I would wear this every day. It's just a little hippie backpack. I have sweaters that are similar to this. This is kind of like a style aesthetic. I have sweaters similar to it, so just that hippie comfy look. So the fact that it's a backpack and it's still giving me those same comfy vibes is fire. It's just mainly because it didn't have a button to stay closed, but that's easy love her she was $7.99 that was all the accessories now getting into the clothes first we have graphic tee like I said I'm not a fan of like flipping through every graphic shirt I think that's what irritates me is having a one by one and it you kind of have to put in that time with tees and like shirts because you have to see what's on the front of them to know when I do look I do find some gems that I love so found this one I thought this one was super cute you know I could give it a little crop just to the slightest when I'm skinny again with again some straight leg jeans and some green converse definitely y2k like simple and again Boston Celtics I mean I don't really go for them but it's definitely a vibe and I love the color green and that one was only $2.49 next was a vest that I found I peeped in the vest and this always happens to me. There's always a section that I look through last minute and I find so many things. So that one was the vest. But this is kind of like vibes of like friend vibes. So very 90s I would say. This with like some black tights and like some black little like heel type things. Or like some white ones that has the little strap in the back. Just very like Brarian type vibes as well. If I get little enough, then I could wear this definitely as a dress. But if not, then I could wear open as a vest with a turtleneck underneath. A cropped little turtleneck and maybe like some type of mini skirt. Or, you know, just do so much. But I love it. I love the muted color. It's just the vibes. Like, I just looked at it and knew, like, that's a vibe. And this one was $2.99. We then have this, which was in the tanks. Very cute. When I do take a peek, I find some little gems. So this is actually, like, vintage and, like, old. But I just really love it because it's that, like, gas station NASCAR type vibe where it has the little patches on it. And it says Triple Cross Racing Camps. And it's just red. Has a little striping down the side. I just think it's very sporty and cute. Definitely when summer and spring come back around, then this with, like, a white turtleneck underneath or, like, a little white cropped baby doll shirt and some biker shorts and some chunky white socks just very cute and easy to throw on which i like that because you know what if i don't have the time to put together whole ass outfits 349 too so that was amazing the next item we have are very simple but yet a piece 
a staple piece some white sweats these are from old navy definitely love these these with like basic graphic tees and you know some simple converse or tennis shoes very cute and easy overall love these can't go wrong with these very easy look i feel like there's like this gleam i don't know if i'm just glowing or what but <laughs> i feel like rays around me um but yeah those are 3.99 so like those like because something like this and then like this with it it's just and i'm a fan of like white bottoms like white pants i feel like it goes with a lot the next graphic tee is so freaking cute i would have given it to my mom but i guess we could share it but now it applies to me so i could definitely wear this it is so cute and very y2k it says home is where the mama is period and that's with me and that's why i need to let the dad know like <laughs> it's not in la baby it's over here wh wherever i'm at really love it this is very like when you would get those iron on letters so i just really like it i like the color i like that it's like this eggnog off white and then this burgundy it's very like 70s really love that that one was only $1.99 so that's why i am a fan of looking through the t-shirts and tops because they're fairly cheaper the next item are some Adidas sweats. I had found two pairs, but the other ones are raggedy, and luckily my cousin talked me out of it. And then when I looked even more, again, you gotta really look at them. The bottom was all fucked up. I did end up leaving with these. I feel like you can't go wrong with these. And I've always had like a miss when buying these pants. I would buy them online or something for some reason that I wouldn't try them on or maybe even from the thrift but they just weren't that perfect fit but I feel like these would fit perfectly because usually they're too short. They're really little. I guess that's why it's for like soccer guys that have nice toned skinny ass legs because my ex in high school used to wear these and he had no problem but me or like you know people that I know that are of taller stature it just be difficult i just feel like these are definitely a staple and easy to wear and look cool and it's funny because they actually look the best with like air forces i'm not a fan of mixing brands y'all know that but i feel like in that case it's just a it's just a little slight look 379 for those which is actually a great price next we have what may be my christmas wear but definitely is going to be a christmas pick fit i found this top first I really liked it. At first, I was going to pass on it, and then my cousin threw it back in the cart, so I was like, fuck it. Like, she really thinks it's cute. She wouldn't tell me to get something or, like, you know, especially if I was already ready to pass on it. But it's this really cute 90s type vibe of a white tee. I bang in my white tee. But we're not banging in this. We're showing Christmas spirit with all these little, again, puppies. Adorable. Look at the graphic. Look at the graphic period and then it kind of reminds me of myspace and stuff because like the glitter and shit i feel like this is what somebody would post in your comment section like merry christmas i just like the vibes i love the dogs i just thought it was super cute and i had like some overall well you guys seen like the oversized overalls so i like the baggy look and i felt like this would be that type of vibe baggy daddy vibes so real cute again definitely just the look like if you want to just pull a cute little picture by a christmas tree so that one was 449 and then when i look through the vest i found this one baggy daddy vibes and like i do like this print of like the tartan stripe print i love the colorway and it's very christmasy so i felt like since it's already pretty big and oversized, like over a white shirt, some baggy jeans and some white forces, like such a fire, like, yo, 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 what's up? Merry Christmas, y'all, period. <laughs> and this vest was actually $4.99, but then it was half off, so it was like two fifty. dollars so I thought that was cute. And this vest period is cute. I could wear it with like over a white crop turtleneck, you know the vibes. You know the beads. Next, next we have the meats. We have this t-shirt, super cute. Like I said in the video, I think I was very inspired by my cousin's tie-dye shirt, but I am very, like I'm a huge fan of tie-dye, especially like original rainbow tie-dye. But then I was a big fan of the colors on this. Like look how beautiful that looks. So cute, 
so freaking fly it just looks so cute to me again this is very me as well oversized easy to throw on comfortable with the gold jewelry that i had on that day it just looks super fire and effortless this with like some baggy jeans and air forces again i don't know if i said that but very cute very easy and very fire like effortless fireness that is that one that is that the next item we have is this little tank this is something that definitely to me i love it it's super cute super y2k all the vibes are there but it's like easy shirts that i find definitely with tanks this is my problem i'll find a lot of cute little tanks but then they just get thrown to the side and i don't really wear them I feel like they have, again, the vibes, but it's not really me to just wear and put in an outfit. But I might attempt with this one. I love this. It's just gray. I like how it's like a sweater wool material at the bottom and the gray color to it. And then, of course, the black fur collar. I think once it's on, it's going to look like super fire and bougie. And it was only $1.99. So that's the good thing about these two is that super cheap super fire the next item we have is another vest again very 70s vibes really like this i love the color it's this baby blue and then it's white gingham and gingham is very like precious and very timeless the vest it doesn't have no buttons but i could probably add some if i really wanted to i think this is super cute again with my white thigh high go-go boots like for a very 70s look i'm thinking very like austin powers like that movie is very inspirational with the direction of like clothes that i'm trying to get to and looks that i'm trying to pull so you know a lot of colors a lot of color blocky something like this with like a pop of yellow tights underneath even if i do have the go-go boots or maybe like pink or something just super fire you gotta watch the the movie if you haven't that's the vibes that i got with her she was 2.99 but ended up being a dollar 50 because she was a green tag coming down to the wire We'll go with these. These are the other Adidas pants that I had that I was debating, but it was kind of an easy call. Like, girl, just get them. Very comfortable, very easy, smeezy, great condition, navy blue, white. It'll definitely be put to use, I'm sure. Like, such a basic staple that I was like, do I need it? But, you know, looking at them now, I definitely feel like I needed these. In my life especially because for pants i like to seek other options before i have to seek jeans and those were 7.99 very cute like i could wear this with this vibes period the next top that i found another graphic is this one and this is very very y2k Ooh, look at her look at her my mother told me to pick the very best one and you are not it period <laughs> got this it's in this brown color and then it's like a two-tone so then it got the beige underneath off-white cream type color so i think that's very cute i mess with brown when it has another color on it with my red hair it's like a little vibe or whatever so i do like this and again cute little graphic y2k t i try to find these on depop all the time but they're like usually too much the just the price isn't the price for me okay you know the price is right well the price is fucking wrong this one was $2.99 so again easy effortless little look coming down to our last two items these are my favorites so that's why i kind of saved the best for last the next item i could have left with this and this was like the item that I was like oh yes this is what i'm here for like all those things were really cute and i was happy to find them and i'm glad that i found them but this was like the piece that was like oh yeah i could have just found this and i would have been happy if someone stole my cart but just left this like i would have been okay with it it's that item for me so it is this tea oh my gosh Oh my gosh, it's so like Boy Meets World, like Saved by the Bell 90s vibe. So neutral, so fire. Like this is another piece that is definitely me, like baggy, oversized, very comfortable, effortless, like, oh! So I love the plaid on it. I love the color of it. I love the cut off sleeves. I've been wanting to do this with flannels anyways. And then once I've seen how easy it might be to just add on a hood, I might have to start my own line of these because yes, baby, bring it back, bring it back. I doubt Fashion Nova will try to do this because this is like, but maybe like 
what's another brand that might try to steal it i don't know but y'all heard it here first and y'all seen it here first i obviously didn't start the design but i'm gonna go with the design and make some fire ones because i'm very inspired and i love this and i feel like people should definitely have one of these and they should bring them back so i'll be the one to bring it back period and then i love the hood it's like a thermal material so crisp and clean and it just has like this floral which i'm not a floral fan but again just the way they did it with this is just too fire like period 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 this is like a dangerous item where it you know like if it would have been like ten dollars i would have still got it but luckily it was only 5.99 so <laughs> the last item of this haul is this denim jacket yep just a regular old denim jacket period that's it there's nothing else to talk about i'm just kidding it is this fire ass denim jacket okay like i said i've become very picky with denim jackets you see them all the time so that's definitely an item that you have to like close in on and be like do i really like need this want this what gives it that extra oomph that oomph well for this one ladies and gentlemen it is the fact that it has the ralph lauren logo in the back and look at that there's no cure cure rap period i sound like a rapper look at that y'all shining oh say can you see by the dawn this is the only flag i will raise my right hand to and that's period ralph lauren ralph lauren so it has a little study the rl on the back very clean the jacket itself is great material very mm, as you can see by the tag polo ralph lauren and it was 23 dollars, but i had 20 percent off so that's what i'm saying with some of the items there it is definitely like a cop but an investment so you gotta really choose and be choosy like do i want to invest in this like is it worth it you feel me which it definitely was because a jacket like this probably originally was like way more expensive so to get it for the price i got it super fire we not basic all here baby we not basic that is the best way to end this video yeah feel me cha ching cha ching no more thrifting for me even though i just went thrifting two days like after which was today you know we're not gonna talk about it anyways y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this fun filled tip excitement packed video you guys got to come with me to go see all my little tips and tricks and see how it is with me and then also got a great amazing haul at the end of it like what more do you want from me like my sweater says i'm so over this i'm not over y'all i'm just over sitting thank you guys this. so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe because as you can see the swag don't stop okay if you're fucking with me because obviously if you're already here it was because of like you know my thrift content my swag content all that it's still going to be coming you know if anything even harder because I'm not going to ever shop at a department store ever because any money I get needs to go to my baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this thrift little haul or whatever, this whole shebang. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> see y'all. As always, stay positive, stay blessed, and stay humble, period. She'd be like, period. I'd be like, period. Bye.